What's going on guys? It is me, Ashley E. And for those who are just tuning in, welcome. For those of you who have been watching my videos, hello. It is the end of November and the beginning of December, so I thought I would do a November favorites. So, without further ado, let's get to the video. Just like in my October favorites, I did all the girly things last and all the other things first. And in this video, I'm going to do the same exact thing just so you gentlemen can watch now, skip later, you know, all the good stuff. So, first things first. The label is not on it because it had fallen off, but this is Sports Research, the Sweet Sweat Stick. This is the coconut version. There's the classic and the coconut. I purchased mine, I think it's been about a year now because they were doing the Black Friday buy one get one free. I've definitely used mine up and it's leaking. When I work out, I may be lifting as heavy as I possibly can. I'll be doing HIIT cardio, I'll be working my butt off and I cannot sweat and I won't sweat and I don't know why. So. I came across Sports Research, the Sweet Sweat Stick, and it has been working its magic. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend, and it really does work. Um, I will admit that it's super messy, like mine's leaking out right now, it's all over my hands. With this one, it needs to be within temperature, it needs to be frozen, it needs to be cold. So I keep mine in an insulated bag in my gym bag, but I will tell you, if you do not keep it in something, it will leak and it will get all over your stuff. I think that might be the only con to it, but other than that, it works so well. I leave the gym drenching in sweat and I feel like my workouts are a lot better. I feel like I'm working harder. I feel like my heart rate is going because I'm, I'm hot and sweaty and that's what I like. So, numero uno is the Sweet Sweat Stick by Sports Research. Get it, it's good. Okay. Moving on to Beats by Dre. Not gonna lie, I kind of would laugh at people who would wear the big headphones just because it just reminded me of old school, it reminded me of my parents and I just thought it was kind of weird until I bought my own. So these are the Beats by Dre, these are the Solo 3, they are the wireless ones and I use them every single day at the gym. And they're the noise cancellation ones so when you put them on, can't hear anything. People will be like talking to me, looking at me and I'm like, can't, <laughs> don't know what you're saying to me. And my music is on full blast most of the time. so. If you're talking to me and I'm wearing these, you'll probably need to tap me on my shoulder and let me know, but they are wireless, which is amazing. They're matte black, so they go with every single outfit, and I probably charge these once a month. The battery life on these things are absolutely ridiculous, and I use them every single day, and I'm at the gym for about an hour, hour and a half, sometimes two hours, and like I said, I only have to charge them once a month, and it tells you on the sides how much battery life you have and connecting it to my phone worked so quick. I don't even know what I did. Turn these on and it already was like, connect. And I was like, sure, why not? But they were expensive, but they're so worth the money. So worth it. Okay, next thing on my list is Kodiak cakes. I started eating Kodiak cakes long, long time ago. Make my pancakes, make my waffles, and they were just amazing. You're getting all the protein, your grains, everything. When they came out with these, the Kodiak cakes, the energy waffles, this one is the blueberry chia. There's two other flavors. I believe it's a vanilla buttermilk and then a dark chocolate, which are also my faves, but I can't find the box, and this one's empty. 
so good. It says it has B vitamins, six grams of protein, and they're just so, so, so good. Yes, they're a little, I, I'm pretty sure they're a little bit expensive, but worth it. I think I ate all eight waffles for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, because they were that good. Top them off with some Walden Farms. I mean, why not? Why not? Okay, for those gentlemen who are watching, that is the end of those stuff, and I'm moving on to the female products, so if you want to X out and move on, by all means, I'll be here tomorrow. For you ladies, this is the, but I don't even know how to say this, Batiste, Batiste, I don't know. This is the Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo in the Coconut and Exotic Tropical Scent. I, every time I buy a dry shampoo, I always buy a different one because I like to try them out and use different ones, but I've seemed to like this one and I've seemed to like the scent too. I normally will do the dry shampoo right before I go to bed and then in the mornings it's done, done deal. Smells pretty good. There was a bunch of other ones there. I didn't read into what it meant or what the difference was with all of them. They all said dry shampoo, they just had different scents. So I'm assuming it might just be that, but I just got the prettiest looking one that I saw, so I was like, done. And I happen to really like it, so dry shampoo for you ladies. One of my faves so far. And then, this is the Green Tea Clay Mask Clarify and Brighten. I got this at Target was expensive I will admit and it's kind of on the smaller side it looks like this when you open it but I'm a very simple person especially when it comes to beauty things and anything girly things I don't know what I'm doing or why I'm doing it but I got this out of complete whim because it was a new product to Target and I saw it and I thought it was cute and then there was like one left so I was like well if there's only one left everyone must be buying it and it must be so cool so I bought one for myself and my skin is kind of an uneven tone and you can tell that it's uneven when I put foundation on because my forehead is really freaking dark and then my that down here is like really white and then I have freckles so it kind of just makes it all weird and when I do get acne and blemishes they're just it's one annoying one like just one it's not like all over my cheeks all over my chin it's just one one little crater so and I pick at it and then it scars and then it just gets all weird and discolored so the green tea clay mask it says to put on clean skin so what I'll do is I'll shower and then I'll put this on right after showering and it's really clarified my skin and it's made it one even tone so you can still see some of my scarring around, but it has really, really, really helped. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And like I said, put it on right after I shower. It only needs to be on for like 10, 15 minutes. So like while you're, you know, getting your stuff ready, you can even do it in the morning. You don't even have to do it at night too, but it's worked and I love it. And it feels, it just goes on so smoothly and evenly and it just, it feels cool. And then as when it's starting to dry, it's like kind of opaque and then it just kind of clears out. So yeah, I recommend. Another beauty thing, I talked about the Essence highlighter in my October favorites, but this is the Essence. This is a volume mascara and this one's waterproof. It's called the I Heart Extreme. And it looks like this through the makeup aisle here and there but I get so overwhelmed that I don't know what I'm doing don't know what I'm looking at or I just I, I just can't do it but when I bought the essence highlighter I only bought it because it was cheap it was like less than five dollars so when I was in there I saw the S other essence products and the mascara I'm pretty sure it was like three bucks or 2.99 so I was like YOLO why not why not and I love it I'm not a huge fan of length in my eyelashes because I wear glasses so when I wear glasses it smudges onto it or I can feel my eyelashes touching the lens and it just it just gets a little weird and then it starts getting all black and smudgy so I'm more about volume than I am length so this bad boy gives you volume and I like volume so 
This is the Essence High Heart Extreme Volume Mascara in the Waterproof. And last but not least is this. Some of you are probably like, what in the world is she holding or what does that do? This is a little toothbrush. This is by Colgate. I went to um, Fred Meyers. That's where I normally do my grocery shopping and some stuff. But Fred Meyers does not sell this thing. Target sells this. It's kind of like an on-the-go toothbrush. So it has like little bristles. I can't... Mm -hmm. And then inside it is like this little ball, which like kind of spurts out like kind of like a mint in a way so you just kind of like brush out teeth brush out teeth and then it even has like a little toothpick at the end so 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 convenient um it comes in a little baggie too so i will literally take this anywhere and ever everywhere i go i'll get a smaller zip box and then i'll distribute them out so i have one in my gym bag i have one in my backpack i have one in my purse i have them at home i have them in the car everywhere i go it's just awesome. But yeah, that is all of my November favorites. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Not that much stuff, honestly. Like I said, I'm a very simple person. I like to keep things easy. That's all I got for my November favorites. Tune in tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. And I'll... Catch you tomorrow.